Last episode's picture was pretty funny. Let's see what we got for new comments. Huh, a musty clown? How on earth am I gonna do that? I don't know, I'm just gonna look at Musty's channel to see if uh, there's any uh, anything worth, you know, using as a reference photo here. Huh? It's perfect. All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on episode number 44, and today we are a Musty Clown, which is the easiest photo to do because Musty conveniently actually made himself a clown the other day. So we got a nice little photo for him. But we're Grand Champion 2 Division 4, and we're going to be probably jumping into Grand Champion 3 at the end of this episode, probably the next game or so, because we're at 1747. And the last episode, I did mention that we're actually getting super close to SSL because I think it's 1815 is the markup. So I'm pretty excited. We're, we're about, you know... 68 points away not about that's exactly the amount we're away uh so you know not too many more games left but hopefully i will make it to ssl around my birthday which is march 31st and speaking of my birthday we're actually trying to reach 1 million subscribers by my birthday so if you haven't subscribed yet and you're new to the channel or you enjoy my daily uploads and haven't subscribed yet subscribing will help out a ton we're about 45k out from 1 million which is a bit of a climb but we're making it slowly but surely hopefully uh, we do make it but if we don't it's all good let's jump into the next game and see how it goes Oh, I gotta change my dead zone. Oh, my uh, my new controller has been really buggy. It's I keep forgetting that whenever I'm on this uh, <laughs> on this account, I need to switch that because uh, it's I don't know. I, I got two new controllers because my controller's kind of busted, but uh, even this new scuff controller has been kind of buggy. But we got Chris 0520 here with Unto Jupiter. Let's see if I can stay with this. Good pity. Chris should stay with this if he can. There we go, good 50-50. It was close that he uh, missed that challenge, but I kind of expect them to ch chase that. Decent shot. Probably going to immediately ball chase, I can tell that. And right here, he wants the ball, so I'm going to go for the corner boost and see if Chris can get the next touch. Decent. Maybe he would ch uh, chase that. Chris needs to be back, though. He's still not in, in the net. I'm not sure what happened in the corner, but he wasn't ready for the next touch uh, right here, and he's backwards. He ended up going forward to try and bump or something, but he should have went back to net off that 50-50. Pop it around, though. Get it over the one. See Jupiter on the backboard trying to make a collection, so I'm going to move move ahead here and try to get the back uh, middle boost. Oh, wow. And I expect them to go for that immediate challenge. Could be an Im immediate goal, too. Yeah, so I thought he was, he was going to back off, but I can see they're trying to be really heavy with the pressure. So I'm going to change it up a little bit and go for immediate shots. There we go. Kind of expected it. Like I said, they're going for immediate pressure. Good 50-50. Could be in the net. Nice. <laughs> so they get punished for the immediate pressure like they were trying in the first half of the game. Or not even first half, just the first little bit. Uh, where they're immediately going for every touch possible. So I just go for the immediate 50-50 instead. Right here, I know the guy's trying to go for the boost. So I'm going to grab the, the corner. Let him just flick the ball. Waste his possession. Okay, I didn't want my teammate to do that. <laughs> do my teammate in net. Go for the clip. Clear. I'll stay with us now. Let him go for the 50 50, and now Chris can make a touch. Teammate should be trying to make a challenge or something. He's up the wall doing nothing. <laughs> That's okay. This guy's up. So I'm just going to force a 50 50 forward. My teammate should be able to finish it, maybe. Good backboard. Close on the finish. Nice try. Leave the boost for him. Okay, he didn't take it. Now he's grabbing the mid boost. Okay, I'm, not, I'm a little bit confused from my teammate, but uh, it's okay. We're like still trying to figure out. Um, um, like <laughs> my teammate's positioning and want it, like how he wants to rotate and stuff. He's not making the best touches, but here he makes a good pop off the corner, and I think he confused the opponent just enough that he didn't wait, make that next challenge. He waited for that that possible second touch. Oh, wait, wait for him to touch it. Now I get the corner boost and make both of them go. Go for the immediate shot. They're not probably not be ready for it. I'll grab the other corner as well. Let my teammate get in. Not the greatest touch. Probably gonna go for a flick right here because he has no boost. If I know that, I'm going to just force him in. I can flick over the one. Good read. That was a really good touch from Chris, actually. Teammate should go off the wall for this instead of, like, jumping up the wall. I mean, jumping up off the, the floor. It's harder to uh, use. It's You're going to use a lot more boost off of the floor if you go in the same position. Um, or you could just go up the wall. Um, especially when the touch wasn't really threatened at all. Gotta be a little careful with that. My teammate's not really trying to go for an aerial uh, defense. He's just sitting on the floor. So 
So I probably should have jumped out earlier, but right here, my teammate could jump up. He just kind of sat, sat on the floor and did nothing. So it's a little bit difficult uh, to defend it when you're both sitting in the same position. Since Chris was on the floor and he was able to jump up and, and make a challenge, I'm on the backboard waiting for the high touches. Um, but instead, he, you know, he didn't make anything happen because he was sitting behind. Good pass across. I have to wait for the shot. That was pretty dangerous. Nice. Okay. That could be a goal. Yeah. I didn't expect my teammate to just throw the, throw the ball like that. Um, when I was already going for the next touch, he kind of popped it out. Like right here. I, ah, I, I don't like the pinch across. I could have just probably waited, but it looked like he popped it away. And then tried to follow it through. A little bit rough. Cooper might miss. It's a good, good clear. Cross for my teammate. It's going to be a clear. And that might be it. Yeah. So seven seconds left. We can't really get a, another goal here. A little bit of a difficult, difficult game. But, uh, you know, sometimes the rotation just isn't there for you and your teammate. Oh, oh close. <laughs> there wasn't, wasn't really any need to score that goal. But, yeah, that was a little bit difficult to rotate with that guy. He wasn't really, like, making enough positioning to cover my positioning or my, my touches. And I had to make a lot of saves because of it. But we end up going into the next game. And hopefully we can get a win out of this one. You know, I, sometimes you just get teammates that you can't vibe with. And uh, I obviously didn't make all the shots I had opportunities for. But right here, there's... Definitely chances to save that, and Chris was just kind of like sitting in the corner like that, not really doing much with zero boost. But here we go. We got we got a swap of teammates. We got Chris on the other team, so here's the, here's the time to prove ourselves. It was a little bit difficult to play with that guy, but sometimes the the rotations and and positioning of the of you and your teammates just doesn't doesn't work out. There's Chris going really really early. Should be an open goal for my teammate. Could be a nice double. Close. Good try. Good clear from the opponent. Great try on the shot. Good pop again. Chris is just playing really slow. And you can see that he's getting caught out a lot. Like right here. See if he goes forward. Good pop. Good clear though. Like he's making good touches. He's just rotating really strangely. So definitely has decent mechanics. Just not the best decision making. Stay with this if I can. Pop over the backboard. Chris isn't going to get that. Should be open for my teammate. Wow, what a clear. That ends up working. That's crazy. He ends up like missing, and then I think it popped into, uh, <laughs> popped into. Oh, I lost my audio. Wow, he just popped it right into Chris. So that that miss actually worked out. That's pretty funny. All right, pop around one. Should be an open goal here. I knew Jupiter would probably go immediately, so I just pop it around him as he's challenging. And Chris made a, a pretty pretty uh, light touch to give it to my teammate. And then I'm able to pop it around him. Hopefully this boost comes back. It might not be back yet. I'm just gonna wait for it. Good challenge. Could bump the other guy as well. And there we go. He's bumping, bumping them like crazy. Chris wasn't really getting back. He needs to make sure he gets back on the on the uh, defense instead of going to the corner. He got bumped up as well. <coughs> clear. <laughs> yes, it's very clear. Okay, bit of a bad clear from the opponent. Pop it towards net. Should be a cross from a teammate who didn't get the mid boost. He went for the back pressure. I mean the back boost instead. Probably could have kept kept pressure, and that's gonna be a goal. So in that situation, like my teammate could have gotten mid boost and held the pressure, but he ends up rotating all the way back and missing the back corner boost. So he can't challenge. Maybe I just don't understand this uh, <laughs> this rank. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> Trying to be uh, no way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't understand, man. I guess I'm just uh, I'm a lost cause. Took my teammate to turn on that a little bit faster, but cheating up really close. I could be on target too. Good bump. This should be a finish here. Dude, I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand. I just don't understand this rank. Like, I'm... Like, it's, it's like... It's like several good positioning and good uh, defense, uh, defensive uh, choices. But then there's just these random times where people just, like, go all over the place all wild. I don't know. Wow. Okay, that was, that was close. But like I said, Chris has decent mechanics. Just uh, questionable choices like this. This should be almost in the net. Like, these choices are super strange. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That should be an open flick. Hopefully, you can follow it. It should be a goal. It's a little bit low boost, though. And is that just going to roll in? <laughs> what? What is... <laughs> I think he just bumped his teammate. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy's going to try and bump me. I saw that, so I'm just going to break check a little bit. Pop it around one. End up getting a touch anyway. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Like, I just don't know, man. I just don't know. There's a free touch. 
You don't need to jump for that. Definitely don't need to jump. Like, at least put it behind the players and not try to catch it, because they're just going to get a free touch. A few seconds. Got 100 boost. So I could probably be on this, so I don't want to go yet. I'm going to leave this down, obviously, because my teammate's way out of the play. If I take it to the corner, I'm probably going to get my boost stolen. There we go. Hit the corner boost. Bump Chris if I can. He ends up clearing it to my teammate. No teammate. Oh yeah, oi. Okay, that's good. There we go. Got a good clear. I just feel like I said, I just don't know what... Like, people are making mistakes, and then they're trying to cover it for them themselves. Like right here, I just... I'm not sure what's going to happen. It's a good play. Hopefully my teammate can follow. Good. Pop it around him. Force him in. Popping him out. Teammate's not really quite ready yet, though. Should be able to get on this, this challenge. Chris is going to make a clear. I got to be a little bit careful. Jupiter can be on this. Okay, Chris ends up staying with it. This is a weird game, man. I don't know what's happening. This is a very awkward set of set of games here. Okay, it's good. Pop towards net again. Jupiter might panic. There we go. Once again, just faking him so that my teammate can go. But he's always kind of in the same position as me. Like, not really ready for the next one. Okay, my teammate's there. I don't know. I should be able to go for this off the corner. Stay with this. Hopefully my teammate can finish it. Good backward hit. Oh my gosh. I just don't understand this rank, man. I don't understand it. Now Chris is the one popping off on the other team. I don't understand. Oh, that's close. It's a little bit scary. Take a shot towards target. I was expecting the bump. I'll get the demo here. Get a 50-50 as well. Teammate needs to stay with this ball. Good. Oh, I was hoping he would leave that for me for the shot. Kind of got in the way, though. I know Chris could probably make a 50-50 or a pinch. So I'm just going to be ready for that. Oh, it's close. I'm dead. Hopefully my teammate can follow. I got 14 shots. Whew. Dude, I just don't know, man. This is weird. We're, we're, we're stuck in this, like, this limbo of overtime. Just because no one's doing anything much with the ball. They popped it around. It's going to be a goal here, actually. Missed it. Oh, my gosh, dude. Get me out of this game. Gave it to me for a free possession. That's a 1v1 here. You end up missing the bump, though. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I just... I can't, man. I've got seven saves. 16 goals. Keep ball chasing, teammate. You got it. I'll stay with this. Pop it around. See my teammate wants this. Oh, my gosh. Go for it, teammate. Chris is going to clear to the side here. This is a whole lot of nothing. Pass my teammate who can finally stay with it. Uh, never mind. Pass it to them. This game, man. There we go. Clear to the side again. Eight saves. The 50 50. Teammate should go up for this. Both players went, and now it's going to be open. What? I just. <sighs> oh my gosh, dude. What a horrible game. <laughs> oh my god, that was so bad. I just can't. I just don't know, man. I don't know. 17 shots. You know, trying to cause pressure and make them have to, you know, make a defensive clear. We just couldn't keep pressure at all. Not to mention that starting goal where it was uh, a weird defensive play off the side. But that was... Uh... Oh my god. I just have no words, man. That was that was a ridiculous game. We got the final game. We got Chris and the other team again. Let's see if we can uh, stay. Okay, my teammate missed the ball here, so I'm going to go behind him. Wait for their pressure. Hop around the one. It should be open because Chris went. Spear wasn't quite ready for it, though. It's all good, though. Right here, I can go for the shot. Go for the far touch. Good clear. I'm not used to my teammates being always so far back. That's, I think that's the biggest problem that I'm having, is that I'm going for things that I think my teammate's going to be ready for. But he's not quite ready for it. Like, right here, I just took that back corner boost. So I don't really know why he's in that corner. Like, I, he needs to go grab boost pads somewhere else. Good 50-50. Oh, he, he faked it. That's kind of confusing. I was going to pass it back to his teammate. It's going to be an open goal for them. 
Teammate got bumped in, a, in an awkward spot in the corner. I thought he was going to touch it back. I was, I was ready to move forward, so I turned around. That's probably why I, I should have just like went for the ball. Just like ignore the other player. Get a 50-50 as well. So now I can stay in position here. I kind of popped the ball away though, but he also threw the ball away. Good. This should be open for me. Really good pop from Superior there to uh, get rid of the players in the corner when they were challenging. Right here, I made a bit of a heavy heavier touch than I wanted, and then I tried to zone, on, zone out the players, but they both ended up going for the challenge. To be my teammate. Could have grabbed the corner boost earlier, honestly, and that might be an open goal for them. Yeah. So I should have maybe went for the corner boost. thought my teammate was going to stay with the ball like right here instead of popping it. I, I got a little bit confused because, honestly, he could have just not even touched that ball off the backboard. I'm just playing, like, way too far ahead. I need to stop, you know, thinking so much. It's a big problem that I have, like, in these kind of ranks, is that I think a little bit more than I, need, I should. Just need to react to what's happening instead. Instead of uh, trying to uh, predict. And uh, Universe is going to stay on this ball, so I'm going to wait for his next touch. It's a good fast clear, but... It's very unlikely he's going to get the goal there. Make a shot towards target. Good bump. Should be a shot still. And there we go. I'm ready for that backboard uh, bounce once he makes a clear. Even though I'm zero boost, I know I can sit there and be relevant off this play. Good bump attempt from Superior, and then we can just get a top left shot. Uh, once again, I'm trying to pinch the ball with that top right corner of my car. And it uh, ends up working out. See if Chris throws it away. He does. Have to jump, though, because it's in net. Well, oh, it's a good demo. Oh, not the best touch, though. I'll stay with this. He's probably just going to ball chase into the corner. I'll just take the boost. Let Superior just keep chasing. Up over the one player. Teammate should be able to go for this. Okay, he's moving forward in case I miss, <laughs> I guess. I thought he was going to go for it immediately. He probably should have grabbed that off me because it would have been a faster clear. But instead, he just left it for me. Uh, Chris could have maybe beat me if I had no boost. So Superior definitely should have just taken that ball for me. I don't really care about who gets the goal and stuff. Good pop. Once again, a bit of an awkward clear, but hopefully he can stay with this. I'll pop this around the one player. Now he's just going to make an attempt on, sh on the net. Good clear. Alright, I'm going to go for an air dribble here. Oh, it's open. Never mind. Go for the one backboard touch and then uh, pinch it into the net. In that situation, uh, their other guy would have been probably back. And I saw Superior forward and I was like, okay, I'm going to go for a pop in case he doesn't get the demo. But then he got it. So then I just go for the sort of like smush it on the wall <laughs> to try and pinch it into the net. That's going to be the end of the game here. Bit of a weird episode. We ended up playing Chris with Chris in three games, and uh, he lost all three of them, unfortunately. Um, that one overtime, I have no words, though. That was <laughs> that was just a messy game, honestly. It was just a really strange. Sometimes you get those games where just you just don't know like what to do, and that was definitely one of them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Regardless, uh, we're getting closer and closer to uh, SSL, like I said. Kind of only ended up, ended up going up seven points in this episode. <laughs> But uh, why 7MR when he's GC3? So he's like just on the cusp of GC, uh, GC2 GC because he dropped a few points. Um, definitely been dropping Chris a bit uh, since the start of this episode. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you guys in the next one.